go get Freddy. Yeah, yes, sir. I'm here with my boy Pat. Is it? He did. Yeah. And we got U48. Man, he brought it is. U48 performing. <laughs> Jordan Affman, U48. Now what's happening, bro? So, um, so yeah, so whenever you complete 10,000 hours of training, you get a U48 shirt. It's like an initiation. So what about the, the, the hoodie, the short sleeve hoodie that you have on? It's like 30, 30, 30,000 hours for that one? 20. 20? <laughs> that could be a little more, I know. Who the short sleeve hoodie is? <laughs> for Rocky on it. Listen, he, he, been, he, he been shorting me. You feel me? I've been out here putting more hours in. What, what, size, what size shirt do you wear for your word now? So. Uh, Man, I'm, I'll be made wearing a large about the time I get that shirt. Oh, speaking <laughs> life, I'm right. gonna wear a medium. I, I, no, I said I'll be wearing a large when I get that shirt. You know, it's gonna take you five years. Is this fake? So, do you mix all your yes. together or do you put it separate? What about lettuce? Mix everything together. You, you, you think think I'm lettuce? I said lettuce. You got like sides. Do you mix yeah, the sides? Like this. So you, you can grab some of my lettuce if you want. Yeah. yeah hey, you're nice. nice. Yeah. Hey, Sharon is carrying, man. No, uh, no, uh, speaking of that, what, what are you having? I have the Chipotle guac. Do we get, what else do we got in there? Some cheese, chicken, steak, and white rice because it quickly digests. Okay. Mm. Mm -hmm. I got the barbacoa uh, with the chicken. Brown rice, cheese, lettuce, and other other uh, ingredients that I have. Yeah, tell them barbecue and mildew. Well, since you share your lettuce, yeah, sure. Oh! oh, oh it's 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 all a test. Yes, sir. Oh, sir. Oh, shit, yes, sir. he just began us. Yes, sir. Oh, wait, is this a medium? Oh, we got one more. Oh, you got one more. One more in this shit. Yeah, we'll worry about you. Yeah, you know, we'll, yeah, we'll worry about yeah. you. Uh, <laughs> you gonna fall back? We'll worry about your games later. I, 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 I'll buy another one. You know what I mean? Okay. This is my initiation. Ooh. Yeah, I'll buy, I buy my large one this time. So, you know, I got the pinto beans, the chicken, the lettuce, okay. the cheese. No, I'm getting all the games in. You feel me? Yeah. Get all the games in. Oh, I did get cilantro. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh so yeah. Anti-inflammatory. Oh, okay. A little, little kick. But it's all meat. Hey man, let me ask you a question. How long you been that me? How long you been Jordan? How long you been Jordan? Been known in Jordan since 2009. Word. Wow. Mm -hmm. Who I was not? We're, we're on scout team at West Georgia. Mm -hmm. I redshirt it. Did you redshirt that year? I did redshirt. Yeah. So we were going against defense. Yeah. Ball yeah. Georgia. Run it yeah. back. So yeah, West Georgia. Yeah. Oh, it was funny because 2009, 2010, 2011. Y'all were popping, and we was in West Georgia like a month. Bro. Really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think even uh, my brother went to West Georgia. Yeah. Really? Mm -hmm. What year? Uh, two thousand ten. Really? Mm -hmm. What? Oh, yeah. what's your brother's name? Uh, his brother. name is His name is Macarius, but he, he just went there for like two years. He probably he knows really. us then. I did. We did orientation, everything, man. I worked. He there. Had went to. He played uh, baseball. Who did? Yeah, he really? played baseball. Wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I beat him up. K hey, Camp went to West Georgia for like a semester or something. K hey, Camp. Oh yeah, yeah. Camp yeah. Chris, got my guy. I remember we used to listen to y'all all the time. Like West Georgia. Like all the time. No, like like all the time. Like my roommates. Yeah. West Georgia, Fort Valley. Um, you helped us party. Yes, thank you. Hey, West Georgia is in what? What? You trying to agree? I'm aware. No, West Georgia. <laughs> West Georgia is in what? What? Carrollton. 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 City yeah. of Dreams. Okay, cool. And it's another school <laughs> in um, Barnesville. Barnesville. Okay. That school, West Georgia and Fort Valley, those are like the first colleges that we ever went to. Really? Barnesville you know sounds very familiar. I forget what school what it school is. What school is that? What color is it? I don't even know. Georgia. No, it's uh, uh, Georgia Southern. No, that's that's fucking that's uh. That's a little south. Not much though. Listen, when I first listened to Travis Porter, I was in high school, right? Yeah. My high school sweetheart was Nikki. So oh. you know when I heard Nikki. Nikki. Yeah. Woo! Yeah, that was my shit. Yeah, wow. That's that wild. was my shit. That was my fire shit. Oh, you were singing to your girl every day. You damn right. I don't know you were. <laughs> Nikki, she's up in here. Yeah. Yo. <laughs> yeah. That was yeah. my on the hook. Oh, that's all right. Now that's my boy, Shot the Food. Okay. My brother, oh, yeah. That was cool. 
Man, listen, I think by far, I say Yang Yang Twins, yeah. and Charles Boy, Strip Club, Legends. For sure. Um, I throw, I throw Uncle Luke in there too, but yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. I, I age group, but you know. <laughs> yeah, Luke. but I'm just saying like, y'all was turned. For sure. Yeah. And that shit still be going crazy in the strip club. I walked out. How many years later? 12, 13? 12. Mm. I actually went to uh, Blue Flame last night. <laughs> Shout out Blue Flame. <laughs> he came to work out today. Bro, that's no lie, that's bro. I went to Blue Flame last night Shout and out. I went to an after hour spot. I went to sleep at like 4 this morning. Wow. 4 30. Yeah, at least five hours of sleep or you can't. Yeah, I'm used to it. <laughs> like, I have to wake up every day at 9 o'clock. Like, my body is on that. If I don't wake up at 8, I'm waking up at 9. And okay. that's like, no matter what time I go to sleep. Feel that. It's crazy. Sun's that's, up, I'm up. That come from being on the road, like on the tour, you gotta wake up. Like yeah. you always leaving early. Like it ain't no sleeping in. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Either we gonna do the show and leave, or we gonna do the show, sleep until eight, and pack up and go. Sleep until eight p.m. or eight a.m. Eight a.m. So you party first after the show. Yeah, for sure. So then, it's part it's, of it. Let's say if you have a show, if you're on 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 the road, mm -hmm. you have a show at what six, seven, eight. Okay, if I have a show at 8 in the afternoon? Yeah. Uh-huh. We're leaving. Why? Because I got I got somewhere to be. If I perform at 8 or 6 or 7 or 8, that's, I got time to go to the next city. But if I perform at like 12, 1 o'clock, I'm going to stay in that city. Oh, uh, yeah. it's a science suit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. Okay, so then what? Okay, I got it. Yeah. Early, early the show, the more time we got to get to the next city. You feel me? Right. Because mm. one of my boys went on tour and they said it was tough. Like, you gotta, like, how, what, what do you even pack? Um, you gotta pack clothes, you gotta, like, so, force your toothbrush and all so that. So, when I pack, when I go on tour, I just pack clothes. I just pack pants, shoes, shirts, maybe, like, some jackets or something. Working clothes. <laughs> I ain't been on tour since I've been working out, so no, nah, I ain't packed workout clothes, but I just bought all my socks and my boxes and my t-shirts the day before I go on tour. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I just have a, a nice big bag of that and then have my real clothes and my shoes on. Man, tell me how how you guys met, Strap the Fool Fool, Ali. Uh, so... Ali is my stepbrother, brother. My um, my dad married his mom okay. when we were in uh, third grade, mm -hmm. wow. and uh, me and Ali met Strap in the sixth grade. So okay. we went to the same. Uh, no, me and Strap met in the fifth grade. We went to the same elementary school, and then we went to the same middle school, Dang. and then we went to the same high school for one year. You know what I'm saying? But so we've been knowing each other since like. I've been on Ali since 10, 11, 12, and then Strap since 14, 15, something like that. So, okay, let me ask this question. Yeah. What does friendship mean to you, though? Especially that group. Y'all brotherhood, what does that mean to you? I don't, I don't believe in friendship. That ain't nothing. Like, my, like when it comes to them dudes, they're my family, it's my family. And I say that because I, like, if I get mad at a person that I call my friend, Right. Or if I fight somebody, I call my friends. It's a good chance I probably won't talk to you again. I feel that. You know what I mean? I feel that. But if it's my like, if I look at you as my brother, bro, we gonna fight. Can we, we gonna argue? We gonna do everything. But shit, next ten minutes, we good. We gonna, we gonna be talking. We gonna be joking, laughing, doing the show or some shit. You know what I mean? That's that's how I feel with my partners. Yeah. No one's got thin skin around here. Huh? Yeah, man. So I I, feel that. I look at it like that, like. You know what I'm saying? If you a friend, I know how far to take it with you. You know what I'm saying? I won't right. even I won't even put myself in a position where we not gonna be friends no more. Only you gonna put us in that position. You feel me? I feel you. So, you know what I'm saying? But if you family and we like Maestro, that's my brother. You know what I'm saying? We we bump heads. Even yesterday, I was tripping in the studio. I was, I ain't gonna lie. I was wild out. <laughs> but, you know, that's my dog, you know how to handle it, you know how to you know. How long you know my show? Um shit, how long I've been knowing you my show? About six, seven years. Yeah. That's cool. So I need to record. 
That's cool, like. Yeah, get in the video, bro. Your eyes grow. I already ate my Chipotle. Like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so introduce yourself. My name's Maestro, kid Maestro, be exact. Yeah. Engineer for transporter, tour DJ for transporter. Yeah. A lot of other cats, but yeah, man. So you kind of put, put it together. We yeah, like, you just say uh, producer, you put engineer. Yeah, no, nah, we can produce it too, though. And producer yeah. too, but yeah. you know, it, it's all in the, it's all in the same hat. You know, a lot of engineers these days gotta know how to produce and put these records together. So mm -hmm. it's all a team effort, though. You know, from being in the studio, coming up with ideas, yeah. putting it together. He might just freestyle down the whole beat and be like, I might just chop that up, like see yeah. what we make a song. And, yeah, how long it takes like you to do so like? So you could like, oh yeah, you got, it, you got. It. How long it takes you like to mix? Um, uh, mix. Depends on how, you know, length of the song, depends on the instruments. If we got the full track out, we're doing a two track. Sometimes I can mix a song in an hour. Sometimes it depends on the artist and, you know, what they want. It, mm -hmm. it might take a week, like going back and forth about changing this, changing that, but yeah, we make it happen either way go. So, so okay, so how long is making a song? A song? Like, oh, oh, what, what does it take? Right, so you come in the studio, boom. Mm -hmm. Is there a certain time? like? Mm -hmm. lately, like, do you guys meet at a certain time every yeah, day? Yeah, late, lately we've been getting in like around five o'clock every day. Um, mm -hmm. but yeah, so we'll get in. Um, we just have all you know. Sometimes we have beats already, or we'll have producers come to the studio, like other other producers. Um, you know, go through beats. Like yesterday, for example, Bo, you know, we just had a couple beats. Um, we were in there by ourselves, uh, strapping Ali with late. So Bo was like, "All right, come on, let's blow it up. We're just gonna get some ideas in." You know, taking about five to ten minutes. Rap down the beat right quick, and then me another 10 to 20 minutes of chopping it, figuring out I right, want to use this part for the hook. I think you say this for the verse. We got a song. Yeah, mm -hmm. and then, that's what the magic happens. Kind of yeah. go from there. Yeah, go from there. You know, everybody else come in. Like I said, everybody has you know ideas. A lot of times, um, Strap is the is the is a runner in the booth. And boy, he hear yeah. a beat. Yeah. The beat can play for literally three seconds. Put it up. I'm in there. Like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and you go in and, and, and make something happen. But yeah, so it, it sometimes it's different plans of attack, but we, we always try to get to the end goal the same way. That's what it is. So it's a team. Like, oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. You know, I, if it's I, you probably won't last too long. Huh? Yeah, I just feel like when one person try to carry the whole thing, it becomes a one one side of show a little bit, you know what I'm saying? So it really takes a team, mm -hmm. especially for my how I how we got it set up. It's a group, and people don't know that like the the songs that actually get the most play and the most whatever they came from like us actually coming up with them shits together. Mm -hmm. Like none of them songs that like none of the songs that like. I did by myself and then I had them put verses on it. Yeah. None of them really came to fruition. They was always just songs, you feel wow. me? But the one that we actually was in there together, me, engineer, bro, and then we all came up with the lines and all through that, those would be the ones that actually, you know, transcend and do really, some shit, you know what I'm saying? It's still playing to the band. For sure. For real. Classic. So like how, now, I, actually yesterday I saw that you had a tattoo that says NWA. Mm -hmm. Like, do you look up to them? Do you yeah. What's well, so, up? So, uh, so being in the group, man, you gotta. I, I feel like you gotta do your due diligence. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You gotta do your due diligence to like uh, to find out about you know your history, either the history of groups, the history of black groups, the history of black uh, hip hop groups, and shit like that. Like, like a lot of people don't know. I think I told you this the other day, but people don't know this. But the <clears throat> but the Beastie Boys were the inspiration behind A Ladies. Remember I told you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I looked okay. it up. Remember yeah. I told you why? Now I told Jordan I was like, yeah, you know, a lot of people may look at you and not know that, you know, you're so like, like. I mean, I just, I just saw like when I first met you that mm -hmm. you're more than just a rapper. Like you listen to rock and roll, you listen to this. Yeah. Like you're an artist. You have a creative mind. Mm -hmm. You're a genius in your space. Yeah. People don't know that about you, you know. Yeah. So a lot of times you hear a song and you just think it's surface. Yeah. Right. You know, yeah, you know, so when you told me that I was like, yo, man, that's crazy. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah. It, it, it's crazy because like it's not and the Beastie Boys isn't A ladies, it's hey ladies. So but it's 
and they don't, and, and it, and it kind of sounds like the song, but it doesn't. It doesn't. Really yeah, it sounds yeah. like. Uh, yeah, yeah. When you listen to it, you like, yeah. Whoa. like okay. I'm trying to like, uh, but it don't sound like the song. Like, it's no. just that one line. And that that got uh, and that yeah, exactly. You don't hear you like. Oh, where are you though? Where were you though? You're like um at a like a bar. I remember? No, yeah, the bar. No, no, we were. <laughs> hey, lady. We were. We were. We were. Trying to remember. We probably were. We probably was just in Atlanta, like, and. Around that time, we were like reaching out to like all the groups just to let them know that we, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I respect, yeah. we here, you know what I'm saying? Like, no, we, I, I don't know what you're saying. Like, we reached out to like all the groups. We, we, we called like, uh, you know, Uncle Luke and fucking, you know, his squad. We called like, me and his twins and his the next squad. And then you would say, hey, I'm here. No, hey, not Laura. even. No, not even. It's just like paying homage, like y'all some legends. Thank you guys for Ooh, actually, you know, paving the way in the way for us. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Nice. Because only a lot of people don't do that. No, you know that's that's that shit you. goes a long way when it comes down to actually uh being in the game, bro. You know what I'm saying? And especially when people start talking about you. You right. know what I'm saying? So I would rather if 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 it comes down to it, people will be like, man, what what group you guys respect the most? Right. I rather them. I know they're gonna say us because it's just been so much respect going down the line. I know a lot of groups who don't even fucking say, hey, these niggas paved the way for me. You right. know what I'm saying? I hear that. They, but, they, they paved the way. <laughs> yeah, they think they paved the way. You feel what I'm yeah. saying? But. Like, my thing is, like, bro, I love to see, I mean, I love paying homage to some shit that actually helped me or some shit that I actually did or something. So, that, you know what I mean? As people called you and say, hey, you paved the way, because yeah. Of course. Okay, I was about to say, because y'all kind of started that singing. Yeah. Of course, but yeah. no, <laughs> you know? Look, I, it's people that have, but the people that need to, they haven't. Mm. You feel what I'm saying? Because I think you guys came around the time where y'all snatched the music. Yeah, I brought it to Atlanta because it was y'all, Rich Kids, mm -hmm. uh, Soldier Boy. Mm -hmm. So Atlanta had a lot of boom. I mean, yeah. Because I'm from New York, so New York music kind of died for a little bit. Yeah. 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 The party yeah. scene and mm -hmm. all that. Yeah. Like the, the frat stories. Yeah. Yeah. Y'all were on. Yeah, you know, on. <laughs> NYU, bro. Yeah. I'm oh saying, my yeah. God, bro. Yeah. <laughs> you guys were on. on. That was like, that's the, that's the best college I've been to in New York. NY, NYU. Did you see you went to West, West Georgia? No, I no, I didn't go there for uh, school. I'm just saying that's you didn't go there for like a show. In New York, in New York, in New York, that was the best show in New York that okay. I've been. That hype? Yeah, it was crazy. Yeah. yeah, and it was kind of like downtown, like not downtown, but it was like in the in the city area. Like I I've never done a show like that. Well, except for like um, maybe like fucking uh, Georgia Tech. But when you go to like Georgia Tech, it's not really city looking. Yeah. It looks right. it like a college oh, town right okay. there. You know what I'm saying? So. Like that NYU shit was fire because it was actually in the city, tall buildings type shit. Like, you know, that was different. Yeah, that shit different. That was your best show? No, I mean, in, in New York, okay. in, in the city of New York, that one. But I, I mean, I had another show that was like probably star studded that made it better, but you know, that one, that was crazy. And how long y'all been working with each other? Or? Stro, um, about like you said, the same for seven years. I had met them <laughs> really first, I met, um, I met Ali and Quez um, coming up. I was going to school in Savannah um, mm -hmm. at the time. I used to just come back and forth from Savannah to Atlanta while I was in school, and I ended up meeting Tell, you, you tell me what school you was going to. I was going to Savannah. Yeah, yeah. 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 boy went to school yeah. for this, man. He you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. 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 No, off the street. Dude. But yeah, no, nah, it's crazy as hell because, like I said, I mean, even though we're only three years apart, like, for real, in the age, like, you know, grew up listening to them guys. So, like, me and them was like, all right, yeah, cool. Like, so. You know, it's different though, any engineers and producers out there, right. me and the artists, like, and they don't know you from nothing, like, yeah. like I said, I wasn't living here yet, so I was like, yeah, man, like, I know how to engineer record, like, send me some sessions, I'm like, woo, woo, and they're like, yeah, all right, like, <laughs> but nobody's going to send you that, you know, something that you yeah. don't know, so just keep coming back or whatever, we locked in, and then uh, when I finally moved here, ended up bumping into them again, and then it was just, you know, it was just, history. yeah, for sure. Like, so you, 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 you know, you're, that, you know, you're coming at artists aggressively like I no nah, like it was just like i said so i just was out in the club and like boom i see like i you know obviously knowing faces like oh yeah but you know i'll be quit like transported like boom let me just 
introduce myself, you know, don't be too headstrong, trying to be like, boom, my name's Maestro, I do rock, boo, boo, boo. Like, all right, cool, yeah, nice to meet you, bro. Like, yeah, follow me on the ground, yeah, boom, all that cool shit. Like, okay, yeah, so yeah. the, the ground was popping back? Uh, back Even then? still, yeah, this was, this was, like I said, this was like 2013, okay. 14. Yeah, I really moved here for real in, in 14, but this was like 2013 when I met them for real. Yeah. Um, yeah, and then, like I said, just ended up moving here, and being actually here, that's the thing, like, you know, just, when they see, when somebody sees you constantly and see your face all the time yeah, and they yeah. start just getting familiar with you. Cause even when I came back and moved here, it wasn't just like, we jumped right back in. It was just like, oh yeah, I remember yeah. him, bro. Like, yeah. okay, and now I'm seeing him more and more yeah, and more yeah, and more. Yeah. Like, so, all right, let's see what he got going on. Cause, it, cause I bet so much people like come at you. Yeah, for sure. Especially uh, around that time. Everybody engineer, everybody <laughs> makes it, everybody right. DJ. It's like, all right, bro, I got one of them already. Exactly. Yeah. 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 You're big on energy. For sure. I am. I'm real big on energy. I can tell. And I, I think people can tell my energy yeah, too, yeah, yeah, but yeah, yeah. Uh, I can actually tell, like, bro, yesterday, oh, this was off subject, but this girl, right, she was like, <laughs> this girl, I've been kind of ducking her, ducking her a little bit, right? Yeah. She called my phone and she was like, uh, yeah, I'm, at, I'm on Peter Street. Um, I guess I'm gonna go home. <laughs> I'm good on energy. I know what you want. I know what you want me to say. I know you want me to be like, come and slide. Exactly. <laughs> so, but I'm so I'm like, bro. I hate when I know. Like it's some it's something in me that I hate when I know. Yeah. Like, I know what you want. I hate the fact that I know. And like, <laughs> I'm gonna say it anyway. Like I, I'm gonna say it or I'm gonna tell you that. Yo, you don't gotta do that. <laughs> <laughs> Just say, say yeah, what you yeah. want to say, baby. Like, if you want to pull up, say you want to pull don't, up. Don't hit me with the, well, I guess I'll. Just like, you kind of know I'll be like, no, I still Yeah, like, but I be feeling that energy and I be knowing, like, yeah, all right, shorty, I know I know what's going on. I feel like that's a part of my superpower. Too, yeah. Though. That's one of my superpowers, for real. Yeah. Yeah. Nah, that's not just big on energy, though. Like I said, yeah. I just know that. Like I was saying, it was still like, oh shit, like this Travi, but, you know, be around, like, everybody's people. To yeah, them, so, yeah. You, know, you just respect everybody and just show that back and like you know just figure people out because I ain't gonna lie like at first like it took a yeah. it took a few years at first for me and Quest to like yeah. really Lock get in. to the point where it's like I right, like we cool like it still be certain times where I was like I don't know how this how you really feel about me like yeah. man like you're over <laughs> yeah like but at you times, know what I'm saying but I, I be like that though I'm yeah, like that's I, crazy. I learned like that I'm that's just how you feel about me that's how you feel like, I was like, this, I'm like, yo, let me just like vibe out. Cause the beginning when I started, came yeah. here, I yeah. was like, yo, I'm like, let me just vibe out. Let me yeah. see how everything moves. Before yeah. I started yeah. like open up, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and that's, I can tell, but he does well. I don't care. I'll go up to people, uh, just cause I've been around a lot of people. So like, yeah. like we get first round guys, we get guys that. Like with athletes, you know, like you do well with like talking to them and all that stuff. Yeah. But some guys are just awkward or their guards are up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or their head is here. Yeah. So I know that coming out of college, a guy that has a lot of followers and all that, even a college guy, they may think they're all that. Yeah. So either I'll be like, hey, you know, I'll try to break that ice, but then yeah. I'll be like, you know, I'll just learn more about them. And then when their guards down, I, you know, but yeah. I don't, I, I don't care because then. You know, as a personal trainer, I want to help him mentally. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I humble yeah, him yeah, down. Yeah. Like, hey, you know that? Yeah. Like, you're not the yeah, only top shit. Yeah. yeah, you're not top shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But sure. well, you could be. You could. Yeah, you could. Yeah. yeah. But we were talking about with Matt Scoy, Max Ritchie. Yeah. How like whenever they got to the NFL, or like you know, with girls coming at them all the mm -hmm. time. Yeah. Who's the right one to choose? Because then a lot of them want what you have. Yeah. Not so. who you are. Yeah. But, like you know, like. That boy Max is about to go. Yeah, he goes, like, oh, yeah, 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 Really yeah. feeling you, big bro. Yeah. <laughs> since you got, since you get all energy, is that hard now? You got um, like that wishing test. I ain't gonna lie. My 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 whole thing is when I meet girls, I act broke. I don't. Do <laughs> I don't. I don't do that. They did their research. So. Who the fuck cares? I don't care what <laughs> research you just fucking <laughs> okay, did. They know who you are. Who the fuck? Look, bro. One one. Listen, I don't care. I don't care what research you just looked up and was like the network. Right, right, right. I don't care nothing about that. <laughs> but I, this is how I feel about it. Like. 
if you're willing to to go through this, this is the test now. Okay. Like if you're willing to whatever whatever I if you're willing to go through this, like if I'm not paying your bills, I'm not yeah whatever I'm not doing. If you're willing to go with that for uh for I don't know how the amount of time, but if you're willing to go through that, I fuck with you. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like if you're willing to like. If you want to hang out with me and buy your own drinks and just uh, so, all that, or, yeah. I'm not saying that I'm not gonna buy your food or buy your drinks. But like, if, we can, if we can, if we can bounce can. off each other, ping pong, you know what I'm saying? Okay, so okay, I we got don't you. gotta go Dutch. Here we go. You got it, and I got it. Here we go. Mm-hmm. So you do you want like a high value woman? Yeah, that's independent. <laughs> Yeah. All right. So look, when now we got. She make the radar. You know, you know, look, when we talk about independent women, we got to think about what come with that. Yeah. It ain't just the money. It's not just she having her own. That come with a different mindset too. And, and pop, she has more power. Yeah. She she's gonna follow you on, uh, on your uh, iPhone. Yeah, I don't know about. Nah, no, no, that's what she's gonna want to do because she owns you. Oh, uh, uh, no, 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 yeah, how? Because I would have to. I would. I would have to. It would have to I'm be just a, saying. And she said, hey. "All right, cool." So, so what I'm saying is, I would. If you're making more money than me, I feel you, baby. What you want to do? What you? What I'm, 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 I'm? I love to cook, baby. Yeah. I'm gonna cook you. Uh, what is what you want to do? I'm still going to work, make my money. Okay. But I'm still gonna come home. And yeah, you know what I'm saying. I'm gonna do. You know what I mean? I'm gonna do my. What if you want to go out with your boy? She's like, ah, not today. We'll see. <laughs> I mean, all relationships ain't perfect now. I'm just yeah. saying. You know what I mean? okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I just feel like, so with the finding the right girl, is yeah. all right, listen, is you going to stay down? Right. You know what I'm yeah. saying? But guess what? Some some people got them play that play that long game on your hood. That's what I'm saying. It's hard. That's what I'm trying to say. Some Switch people play, yeah, some yeah, people yeah. play the long game. Yeah. You three, four good years. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so them both three. Ring? Oh man, I got Switch you right, right. Won't right you? Right. You know what I'm saying? Oh, it ain't never happened to me, but I know it's happening out there. You feel what I'm saying? So you know somebody personally that? Uh, I ain't got nothing to say about nobody. <laughs> 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 you don't have to say names. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. It was all good during the dating and talking stage, and as soon as my boy hit the whoop. Yeah. Oh, it's it's coming like, with the rules and the regulations, completely and, different person. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. that's why I don't think the woo should change how we are. That it yeah. should only like, hey, this is just saying that, hey, yeah, you're mine. yeah, we, we, we could be together, we connected. Why, yeah. why we can't have a girl that's like our best friend be married with? You feel me? Yeah, yeah. I, I yeah. think that's really cool. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. Could, well, I feel like that should turn into a different thing once you once it's serious. Yeah. It's not. It, it's serious. You know what I'm saying? Like, like exactly. Oh, okay. It's one of them. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The, the switch business. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Can't can't be like chill no more. Yeah. 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 You see your boy. Yeah. Like, yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> that ain't that. Not not yet. Yeah. Yeah. That, yeah, I'm like, like, you doing, sir? <laughs> I'm like this. Is that, is that Quay? Is that both? What, 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 what's, what's, your, what's your name? My my real name is Don. My middle name is Quez, and my last name is Woods. Woods. Yeah. No, so no, that's my name, Don Quez Woods. People call me Black Bone. Wow. Uh, my my manager is from. Uh, he actually made it up, right? So my uh, my manager is from Savannah, and the way that Savannah is engineer. In the way no, you just went to yeah, where's going? Where are you from? I'm from Warner Robins. Okay. Oh, oh yeah, no. yeah. Warner Robins. What school is in Warner Robins? Um, Warner Robins. Well, Club Fort Valley is close. Oh, Fort yeah. Valley. Fort yeah, Valley. Cool. Yeah, that's cool. But um, what were we talking about? You were talking about the Black Oh, Black Oh, yeah. My um, my manager is actually from Savannah, and the way that they say boy, the boy is yeah. Bo. Okay. Yeah, what up, Bo? Bo? What up? What's happening, Bo? Well, they really saying boy. So, uh, he just he just came up with it. Like, oh, Black Bo. Yeah, I was trying to tag you. I got frustrated. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was like, no, bro, my, fucking, my Instagram got hacked, bro. It did. Yeah, I'm like, bro, I'm my Instagram got hacked
He was playing for the Sixers and uh, he was still living in Atlanta in his condo at the 12 and uh, he would just come like he was fire, like he was like one of their fire players. Oh, no, he was, bro. So he did was, you, was, did you play Hawks, man? Wait, did you play Hawks before? Yeah, he played Hawks. He, he played Hawks for a long time ago. Right. Lou was yeah. crazy. It was yeah. him. This, was, is was, this, was, this, was, this is how this is yeah. how this is how good he was. Uh -huh. He was sponsored by Jordan, bro. Uh -huh. In 2005, 2004, mm -hmm. and he used to come down the court and just. Hey, yeah, that, or he stand on the court and just boom. Listen, he like all buckets. the all the games. I saw him out. buckets, automatic buckets. Yeah, and he's not like one of these guys who are six five, six six. Yeah, he's six, six, six four, six three. Is he? I'll tell yeah. you, six two. No, mm -hmm. he me and him not the same height. Like, I'm tall. six, I'm six three. I probably might be a little taller, yeah. but we probably like the same job. Yeah, yeah he, he's but automatic. There's only these, there's only these kids now like six seven, six nine. Mm -hmm. Right. Ass. Yeah, <laughs> they're not. Nice. Yeah, like, yeah, back yeah, then, yeah. back then, actually playing defense. Now mm -hmm. nobody really plays but defense. Nice. And then high school, like you just have a big difference. Like you have those guys that are like elite, like like Z, uh, uh, Zion, Zion right? so. playing in high school, like like that. You have that much of a difference. But Lou Will was crazy. Were you playing ball in high school? No, nope. I played. I, I actually played varsity basketball one year. In tenth grade, what happened? I, I quit playing sports because I didn't like the authority. I didn't like. Okay. I played baseball my whole life. I played baseball. You're not good at baseball. How are you gonna try to tell I'm me? I'm fired, bro. I played baseball. Baseball. bro. I played yeah, first base, second base, third base, third base, third third base, third base baseball, time baseball. catcher, outfield, yeah. all outfield. Yeah, only, only position I ain't played. Only position I didn't. You strike out Henry. Only pitcher. Only. Only. Position I didn't play was shortstop and only didn't play that because it was so much. It was technical. Yeah. You had to know a lot of shit. You had to know how to get behind the third baseman. You had to know how to get behind the second baseman. And I, I, I didn't want to think like you that. You play baseball? So he oh, he's he 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 Bro, I'm not not listen, bro. I used to play baseball too. I just threw my heart. Yeah, I played baseball from like. 7 to 15, 16. Mm -hmm. And that was when I got in high school. So, you know, when you get in high school, you nuts drop. I'm, yeah. I'm yeah. not listening to you, bro. I'm not listening to no grown ass man yelling at me, talking to me yeah. crazy. Nah, my daddy don't even talk to me like this. Like, yeah. real. So, I, that's what I was on. It was like the authority type shit. Like, well, right. I guess the wrong authority because they were screaming at people. Yeah, it wasn't. Well, like, I mean, whatever. But, but you kids. need that. You yeah. need that. Though. You need that. Yeah. You need that. You yeah. need that. That's why I, some college coaches are like, I see it. I yeah, see it. yeah. You need that shit. Like I can't. I can't even blame my my coach for doing it. I was just on another type of time. Yeah. Like I was really in the streets doing crazy shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So yeah. how I'ma go? How I'ma be in the streets doing crazy shit? And I'ma come to this school and let this man talk to me crazy. Right. Right. 
Right. You got me fucked up. I just beat a grown ass man in the club last week. You got me fucked up. I'm gonna beat you up too. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So yeah, I make shots. So that's why I was like, man, I'm, I'm out. But you know, my brother really, my brother, he's the man. He was so fire. Football, bro. He went to Redan High School. So when he was playing at Redan, bro, he was breaking records that nobody mm. like. He was breaking them shits like most yards. Like he and he wasn't even quarterback, but he got more yards thrown. Like he was doing shit. I'm like yo, how the fuck? Like and then he and then once he got to like 11th grade, he started back playing baseball, okay. and, and that's what he kind of excelled in. He went to college for it, and, but then he kind of fell off of it. Like you know what I'm saying? But that was like my inspiration in playing the sports with my brother because he was so good. Is he older or better? He a year older than me. Okay. But he was better than me, and, and like he was better than me. I always wanted to be better than him. You right. know what I'm saying? Yeah. He's fire. He's fire. Like my nephew, he's gonna be a beast, bro. Yeah. He's been playing baseball and basketball since like four. He's been playing baseball. He loved baseball more than basketball. And that's crazy. Like that's kids crazy. not kids are not doing that. Kids not saying, Oh, I like baseball better yeah, than Yeah, well, why is it that there's like baseball is that Dominicans, so. white, uh blacks, whatever, but there's more Dominicans than whites than yeah, and and baseball, baseball. because because baseball is ass. It's not it's enough. It's not boring. enough movement. Yeah. It's not enough movement. You feel me? It's boring. Yeah, it's boring as fuck. Unless you're the pitcher, or something. unless you're the pitcher, first base, hind catcher, them they get action or outfield. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. First, yeah, first base, that, yeah. <laughs> first base getting action. Yeah, pitcher getting action, hind catcher getting action every time, yeah. every play. You know what I'm saying? So that's like if you play in them three positions. Cool, yeah, you, you know what I'm saying? But you know, how many how many black pictures, how pictures, you know what I'm saying? I mean, it's some. Well, I, yeah, it's not a lot. But I actually, uh, I trained one last year from Duke, Riley. He, he's supposed to get drafted this year, but yeah, it was like, oh, he played pitch. He was the only black guy on Duke's baseball team. Mm. That's what I'm saying. That's not a lot of black yeah. people playing baseball. Yeah. yeah and and I, I don't know if it's, I don't know, man. I just, I don't know, man. My daddy wasn't just talking to me. That's the only thing. Like, if my pops was talking to me, like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Crazy like that. Like, my pops was my coach when I was younger. I'd probably be able to be like a yeah. sports dude, but like, I just can't do it. I can't do it. No, I got you. <laughs> yeah. so you, you don't like people yelling at you. Yeah. Like, my pops actually was my baseball court coach when I played like T ball. Yeah. My mom and my dad was like the coaches. My okay. whole, my whole little. Do you respect that? Yeah, they wasn't yelling. <laughs> you don't like that. They were cheering you on. Yeah, they were doing regular. You know, uh, a lot of coaches yell because they don't know how to get their message across. Exactly. Right? They don't right. have respect. Yeah. You know. You got so like, yeah. You're right. You're like, right. but I do yell. Like, if I get a guy that's like, you know, I'll yell. But afterwards, I'm like, hey man, yeah. I, I just want you to be better. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Like you're you're not you're not listening. Yeah. You know? I'm like no hard feeling. Yeah. I remember I was at, at a private school coaching, and I yell at this guy like, you gotta do this. Then the next day he comes up to me, he's like, hey coach, I apologize for yesterday. Yeah. I'm like, what? And he's like, yeah, you yell at me. I'm like, oh, bro, I, I was, you know, I yeah. was coaching, like, I'm yeah. not passionate. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I wasn't really yelling at you, I was just like yelling. Yeah, it was just We're like, okay. Yeah, for sure. You know? So, but yeah, I, I, uh, it's kind of cool. I didn't know you played baseball, bro, which is crazy. Yeah, we gotta get you more followers, though. Man, we gotta bro, get you that's 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 Last thing, bro, like, I know you've been doing the music thing, so tell us, so for the kids or whoever has a dream, what, do you, what can you tell them? Man, this is actually my wildest dream, like to be a thousand, like as I was a kid, I remember like um, Lil Wayne and like the Hot Boys dropped their album. Yeah. And like uh, me and all my brothers would actually be in the living room like rapping verses, like we would rap, like we was rappers, like we would know. We were, like, I got five brothers. So we are like the hot boys. It's five of them, it's yeah. five of us, you know what I'm saying? So everybody had a verse, everybody had, you know what I'm saying? Everybody had something to do, but we all wanted to be rappers. Like, I felt like we did. I don't know if my brothers wanted to be rappers, right. but I felt like it because we were all like, just so yeah. geeked up about the hot boys and we would all do like, they verses and shit. You know what's crazy? All oh, athletes want to be rappers. Yeah. I, oh, I, all, 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 rap on the athletes. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah, for sure. It's interchangeable, y'all. For sure. 
But yeah, it, this is like my wildest dream, bro. So I just feel like, man, whatever you passionate about, like, just keep that passion because there's no telling if you're gonna be able to do it or not for real. Like, Cause like, like my, my passion was music. Well, I feel, I would say sports first. Right. You know what I'm saying? But once I, the sports shit wore out, I found a new passion, you know what I'm saying? But it was all in the same, I was a kid, you know what I'm saying? I was yeah. I was 14 when I was like, ooh, I wanna be a rapper. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That probably was that probably was another reason why I stopped playing ball, like, cause I was like, nah. Okay. Cause a lot of guys, a lot of athletes have that same vision. I, I even train a couple that just say, hey, I, I don't wanna play sports. I want to be a rapper. Yeah, that's like J. Cole. But from there, what, what does it take to like make how the hell you guys made it? How did you guys make it? Uh so if so, I make it, it means how did you guys become get on the radio, become popular? How do you I, get around the world? You know? Alright, so so the one thing about us that's kind of different from a lot of people, we were actually cool in high school. Like a lot of people don't be cool in high school. Mm -hmm. Like we were cool in middle school, high school, so the whole east side of Atlanta loved us okay so we had the east side of atlanta on a lot for for since i was 15 16 17 we had the east side on lock as young kids like i was going to high school and i was damn near famous really? you know what i'm saying okay. this came off like rap like rap like so, even being in the streets cool, like funny exactly no we was on some gangster shit. okay we was fighting and beating niggas up you know what i'm saying okay. shooting the clubs up all types of weird shit. so <laughs> like uh we had the east side on lock, so it was basically like, I, right, we got this shit took over. Like, let's press the gas on it a little bit. Ali had got this girlfriend, she went to great. And that's and that's what took us from the east side to the city. Cause we were never in the city. I had never been to Lenox Mall at 14, 15 years right. old. Cause I had never been to Buckhead, right, you right. know what I'm saying? So, 15, 16, Ali girlfriend go to Grady. That's downtown, uh, downtown. In the middle, yeah. In the middle downtown. So shit, we would leave the east side, come to the city. And we start seeing more. You know what I'm saying? Back then we was wearing big ass t-shirts, big yeah, pants. So we came, <laughs> we came 14, 15, we come over here and we see, oh shit, like they wear their clothes different. Like yeah. I like the way they dress, like I like it. So what did shit. you see? Like they was wearing like uh no we was wearing polo yeah. and shit but they was wearing like American Eagle, Eagle. Rockin' Republic jeans okay. Okay. like shit like that like it was, and it was slimmer yeah yeah you know, it was it was slimmer and I was like oh shit that shit like it's cool so we took that shit back to the east side and we was like oh black boy white boy like that's the type of vibe we on like we went to Aeropostale and yeah. and and, and, and yeah. Hollister yeah. you know yeah. what I'm saying. When I heard that, that actually brought down to Miami to me because my boy Terrell, he from Atlanta. Okay. And when he heard you guys, I'm like, oh shit, this is swag. Yeah. He was like, yeah, I'm go ahead and go hop on yeah. this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did. Oh. So that I was had the, my fashion. Yeah, so, had but that's what it was like. Like that, like that shit was like, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, man, like that type of shit. Like I so, would go ahead. So you, from Grady, you guys not only like so. Like that fashion made it cool on a whole side of town. Mm -hmm. but like, but then at the same time we met people. Okay, we that met works. people. Oh, we met people in the city that we wouldn't have met. You know what I'm saying? Uh, indicator. You know what I'm saying? And um, and another thing, bro. Another thing that kind of took us over the top, bro. I was dealing with this girl, right? <laughs> girl, or no, in part, I was <laughs> dealing with this girl, right? And her parents, not her parents, her family. They owned this place, right? It was on Morgan Avenue, bro. They used to sell so much weed out of it. <laughs> bro, it was not even like a, bro, it was like a store. Like a dispensary. Like, but it was, yes, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Like, yeah. that ass, bro, I was like 15 years old, bro. On my mama, it was on Morgan Avenue. But the people who owned it or was working with it, fuck with Gucci Man. Oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So. I was like, he ducked the first time I met Gucci Man over yeah. there. Like, he pull up in a big ass Rolls Royce, uh, Phantom, some shit like that. You know what I'm saying? It was big. Man, I was like, yo, bro, this nigga Gucci just pulled up on some rap shit in a Rolls Royce, yeah. chains on, you know, fucking with my people. Like, damn, okay. 
I want to be a rapper. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I want to be a rapper. Like, it, it was rappers that actually came from my neighborhood. But, like, when Gucci dropped, like, all the rappers from my neighborhood, big, I'm, I fuck with them. They legendary. To, they legends to me. Because they don't, they don't know the reason why I wanted to rap in the first place. You know right. what I'm saying? Because it was a lot of people from Decatur. Yeah. A lot of rap groups. Right, right. Like, there was a lot of rap groups. Like, people just don't know that that was a thing in Decatur. Like, five, six niggas, three niggas. Groups. We had groups. We had a group called SOBDP, Black Mob, The Fam. But they was all just groups of rap dudes. You Black Mob from uh, Decatur? Yeah, 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 yeah. Black Mob. Well, yeah, yeah. So, um, all, it was just groups, bro. And I feel like it was the survival of the fittest. Okay. Mm -hmm. And Travis Porter just happened to make it out on top from the cave. Because it's a lot of groups, bro. I'm talking about a lot of groups. Know from like 2005 to 2010, mm -hmm. a lot of groups. Uh -huh. A lot of groups, bro. What, yeah. what was that first song that got you to the uh, over the top? I so like I said, when I was in high school, I was always cool. We was already rapping in high school. So like we had this song called Teabag that helped. That was in, I think I was probably in fucking yeah. sixth grade. Not for real. <laughs> I was in sixth grade. I didn't even know I what think I, that song. I don't even know what T back. I knew what it was because Soul Plane had just dropped <laughs> yeah. that shit. From yeah. Soul Plane. Soul Plane. For real. We had got that line from Soul Plane. I had just seen Soul Plane and I went to the studio. Well, the studio was actually in Ali, my, my dad and my dad and Ali Mom's crib. So okay. we, was, we was just over there. Recorded that, all my homies came over, put verses on it, and we put it out on SoundClick. Yeah, that SoundClick. Shit, yes, bro, that shit went so crazy, crazy. bro. I remember this, bro. Yeah. And I, as, as like you said, like, nobody knew what T-Bag was talking about, but the, I don't know, it's just the energy to be yeah, like, it was funny, the song was crazy, yeah. like, it was just that so real, like, back in the It was, that's a Travis Porter song, was, bro. Exactly, I was yeah, saying, but they weren't like, Travis yet. Yeah, we weren't Travis Porter yet. Out as Travis this was 2005, bro. 2006. Yeah. I was 15, 16 years old. No, I heard, I heard that song before. Yeah. Right? That was you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So you crazy. What was that? So that song that dropped, who was? It was just feature a lot of different people. Yeah, like uh, it was. It was feature because I was in a group. So first of all, I was in. A, it was. I was in a group that was in a group. It was weird. So it's like it was. It was like. Uh, it was like four groups in one. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So it was this group called DP. That was my group, the Posse. But all right, cool. So it was <laughs> the Posse, SOB, Hard Hitters, um, Gutter Boys, and Mastermind. That was a whole group. That was that they they was Black Mob. Okay. okay. All five group, all five of these groups made up Black Mob. Okay. And then it was another group of niggas like YNT. Uh, uh, Born Threats. I remember uh, Born Threats. Yeah, it, and they had a couple, a couple other people. They, they, they made the Fam. Yeah, that was the name of their group. So it's Black Mob and the Fam, and we were actually beefing against each other. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Black Mob and the Fam was beefing against each other. But it was so weird because we knew all of this from like middle school. <laughs> middle school. <laughs> Weren't they from uh, like Jimmy Carter and stuff? Nah, they no. That's where that's where we got in the most shit in yeah. the, on Jimmy Carter and that little. Uh, 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 that little okay. shit. Yeah. What is it called? It's called the ballroom. Ballroom. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. That's what we, we got, got. We we got shot. Me and Mastro got shot at. Really? Got yeah. Yeah. Yes. Well, that was probably us that shot yeah. at y'all. <laughs> 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 nah, no, no, yeah, no, no cap. No, 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 no. <laughs> it was people from our school. You ever heard of ABG? Yeah. They wear red. I think mm -hmm. I don't know. Huh? Mm -hmm. That and then I'll, cause now, I'll, where they from though? They from the city. Central for that? Like North. Oh no. That's when they know. first created like Northside. Oh, okay. It was, I guess it was entangled with all that. I think I do know. I think I did see them. They got you here. I think I did. So I remember when, like, I literally pull up to a park, to uh, the ballroom, mm -hmm. yeah. and they started fighting. Yeah. And I'm like, and like, you know, Mascord, man, he works in my But Mascord was that big in high school. Yeah. <laughs> and then literally, he did. Go outside. He did, bro. Yeah. They're following us. I'm like, damn. Ah. Yeah. Like, wow. I was quick, literally yeah. like that. Yeah, yeah, man. But yeah, yeah. So, so the okay, T bag. Yeah, that was the initiation. That was the and then? fifth. That was that was fifteen, sixteen, and then after that, 
It was. See, after that, then we started beefing with that the fam and Black Mob started beefing, so we started making a lot of diss songs about okay. that. Okay. So Kinda like Chicago. Okay. Yeah. So we started making a lot of diss songs about them. They making diss songs about us, and then Strap, my my boy Strap was in this group called Sob, and me and Ali was in this group called Hardheads, but we was the two youngest. We was the three youngest dudes in Black Mob. Right. So we was like, all right, fuck it. We just gonna hang together. Regardless of what group you in, what group you in, we together. You know what I'm saying? Right. Um, but you know, me and Ali, me and Ali's stepbrother, so we was already together. Yeah. So we met Strap in sixth grade, but he was in a whole nother group. We had knew him, but he was in another group. But he was the youngest, so we was like, all right, come on, you with us. We 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 hard hitters. That was the name of our group, hard hitters, before transport. And then we dropped uh Strap dropped this fucking girl record, right? It was called I Love You. Bro, when I tell you in high school, bro, he was having so many hoes. <laughs> I believe you. Bro, he made a song called I Love You, bro. He was singing on that video go like, I love you, I need you. I'm saying that I just can't be without you, baby. <laughs> bro, it's the simplest song in the world, right? Hoes, 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 hoes. <laughs> See, you're like, I was like, all right. <laughs> Come on. Oh, you with us? <laughs> yeah. All right. Then we dropped another song. It's called She Love Me. Okay. And this is when we found out the power of the females, mm -hmm. bro. Yeah, okay. Because Strap had already put it in my mind, like, oh, I was oh that's what's going on. Me. Like, okay. And then I was like, all right, I'll leave. Let's see if, if we do this, see if it happened. Right. And it happened. It right. was like the girls actually gravitated to that shit. And then we had made this song called Baddest Bitch in the World. And this that's was, and, this song, and, and that's when that, I, was, that was the one right there. And that's, and that's when I knew the girls was the, 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 the like the pivotal point that you had to hit to actually get in this motherfucker. It's an easy, it's a cheat wow. code kind of yeah. song. Wow. It's yeah. a cheat code. So you're giving out the cheat code. Yeah, I, yeah. I mean, yeah. they hope they know the cheat code. Yeah. <laughs> that's 10, 20 years old. So you yeah. 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 performed that song where? The strip club? Bad, yeah, Bad yeah. Bad Bitch yeah. in the World. Yeah, yeah. you get on the strip club. Yeah, that was, uh, and I wasn't even old enough. Ali's mom right? actually, uh. You should drive her around. No, Ali's mom was uh, uh, a manager. Okay. At this club called 24K. Mm. And um, she used to sneak us in the back door. <laughs> She'd give us 300 ones and then sneak us through the back door and we'll perform, throw our ones, and we'll, we'll, we'll probably chill a little bit, but then we'll leave. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But doing that, like, we'll see Brian Michael Cox or, uh, uh, or Jazzy Faye or Jermaine Dupri or. Right. We'll see them and they'll see us being little ass kids in the club performing phone one. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So like, shout out to Ali Mom because that was on some shit. Like, wow. it was yeah. kind of like on some. It's a shock factor when you see that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like these niggas, 16, 17. She, she believed in a dream. Bro. Yeah, she believed in the dream too. Like, That's crazy. before anybody, because we was we was using her house to record it. Like right. we had the studio in her house and she was having us come to her job to yeah. perform, you know what I'm saying? It's crazy. So, yeah, bro, like, this shit deep, bro. No, that is it's deep. deep. It's yeah. deep, bro. We was like, every time I talk about that, that's crazy. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, you know, everybody were, I was in a different lane, I was in college, we were partying to it. Yeah. But like now hearing that, it's like, okay. Yeah, man. So I was gonna ask you where most of your songs like directed to girls. Mm -hmm. That's like, why, because you know. when 2000 meant like um, tw uh, 2007, 2006, we was dropping girl records on in our hood, and the girls was fucking with it. Yeah. So that's why to this day Travis Porter made music for females, because that's what we started off. We didn't start off doing it. Well, T bad that hoe was kind of. You know, it was just for the, for the, for the yeah. you know what I'm saying. Yeah. So I, yeah, other girls. Yeah, for other girls. You feel me? So I, that's that, that's what we found our niche right there. Like, yeah, you can't just jump off the niche. Like, yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah, the niche, and and I feel like that's how that's how some people be like, you know. Like, I don't feel like Travis Porter ever fell off. We just stopped making music. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like people fall off. Like you can tell when somebody yeah. falls off yeah. when they when they put out music and it doesn't the resonate. Music. It doesn't like nobody talks about it. You know what I'm right. saying? Like so that's I, that that's kind of like a, a big problem between a lot of people. They kind of like 
do what they did to get on and then stop, stop doing working. it. Just no, not, not stop working. working. They stopped doing what got them to that point. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Because they got an audience and yeah. they stop. And they think they got to please whoever. Yeah. But you got to stay in your own lane. Stop you, making music for this audience. Yeah, you, you act. Actually, you're not even supposed to make music for our audience. You're Your supposed to make music for yourself. Self. You know what I'm saying? Okay. And whatever you like, it's that's same, what it is. It's the same thing about when you playing when you playing ball. You ain't, you ain't pleasing everybody to play ball. You're not pleasing yeah. your family. You're no. pleasing yourself yeah. at the end of the day. Because whatever makes you happy, yeah, right. You're gonna see so, the progression. Yeah. So what 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 would get you to uh, what what gets you to be successful? The shit you follow your passion or your skill? So I see some people that are not skilled they they don't have skills but they're following their passion they're mm -hmm. broke yeah or do you go skill first and then work skill until you're able to work your passion so you i passion. say passion because i say passion only because bro i just told you i'm good as fucking baseball yeah fuck baseball bro I was, uh, yeah okay you know what i'm saying i'm passionate about this music shit like i would i would sit here all day you like I, I, I will learn new shit. Like I'm, I like I like to learn yeah. shit in music. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, he in the studio rapping. He'll yeah. go home after studio and still go record. Himself. And it doesn't like, feel like a job. It's yeah, like, yeah. You know what I'm yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like it should be. So but at first, you weren't getting paid. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. You didn't do it. Bro, I, exactly. Like making. Bro, I, you know listen, bro. I'm not getting paid every day now. Right. Bro, I still. To it. Go to the studio and then go to my house and record myself and then go to another studio and yeah. record. Like is is in me. Like it's yeah, just I, I, I can't like it's just like y'all like y'all like like Yeah, I literally dream about workouts. That's what yeah, I'm saying. Like, like, I'm ready to look at a shoe and come up with a workout. I'm gonna I'm tell you this. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, and I've been around it all my life. I'm gonna tell you some real shit. Like seriously, I was working before like nine to five before I like I started doing this football shit. Yeah. And I was like Man, I, I caught an epiphany because I was wake up early in the morning. I go with my running back coach early in the morning at eight, yeah. and after that, I go into a facility at nine. Mm -hmm. After that, I'm at go at work, and then I'm doing it all over again. I was like, shit, they ain't, this is not cool. I want to be back on the field, yeah. like, doing right. my shit. Work, work in the way, right? Works in the way. No, I, I, we get a lot of guys that they're trying out, trying football, don't make it. NFL is hard. Yeah. And then now they gotta go into the real world, or they gotta like what you, they're doing, what you're doing. Yeah. I kind of had to do that too. And I was like, nah. Like, I remember I worked at a warehouse for my college, and I said, I don't know how you got here for 20 years. I, it was oh, like, that's what I'm saying. Bro, bro. Type bro. Shit, bro. Yeah, I, no. it was, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> like literally, like, like in a warehouse. So let me tell you, like, let me tell you what happened to me. Though. Let me tell you what happened to me. One day, I was sick as hell. <laughs> like, it was two years ago, I was sick as hell. And I was telling my manager, like, yo, I can't do this because, like, I faint in and I'm like, yo, I can't take no call, I can't do nothing. And she's like, well, you ain't getting no holiday pay. I said, fuck the holiday pay, man. <laughs> I'm sick. I'm sick. <laughs> she's like, no, nah, no, nah, stay here, stay here, take a go in the court. I'm sweating like a dog. They don't care about you. They don't care about that shit. <laughs> I said, you know what? I quit this Same shit. Yeah. yeah. For what? Yeah, so you can die. But, but then at what point do you, because, I feel what you're saying. Because we do get some guys here that come here and train and that like they're trying to chase the dream but they can't even afford it. So I'm like, yeah, still do this, but you gotta like But like yeah, I right, at so, what point, like how do you Alright, so in my in my in my case, right? Because there's a, there's so much rockers down there. Yeah, in my case, so I I'm I'm only looking at it from my perspective. So um when I actually started, we didn't have no money at all. We didn't have shit. We didn't like Ali mom was kind of like, she wasn't like giving us bread, but she'll give us the bread to go to the, to the club and shit. But um, I'm gonna be a thousand with y'all, man. I had this one homeboy, man, he used to sell drugs, bro. No lie, he used to sell drugs. One day I asked a nigga for $1,200. Mm. And that was the, the start of the business, you know what I'm saying, of Travis Porter. Like, wow. the $1,200 from a drug dealer. Wow. I paid him back uh, a couple times over, you know what I'm really? saying? Dang. But it's on like, I, bro, I can't tell nobody gonna ask no drug dealer for the money. <laughs> yeah. But that's just from my perspective, that's what happened, you know what I'm saying? I, I ain't have money to do nothing. Not but that, he believed in it. And, and he believed, no, he, the dude, the drug dealer, the, bro, the nigga, I, fuck, I gotta put this in there. The nigga was actually on all the way turned up. 
Like yeah. it was Roscoe Dash, Travis Porter, and another nigga. The other dude, he go he go last, but he's on that song. Yeah. You know okay. what I'm saying? And he was there from like them time. It's like 2009, yeah. 2008. He was really fucking with us 2007. Like we've been knowing him. That's crazy. But that was just, you know what I'm saying? That's how we kind of got yeah. in the business because we ain't had no money. You know what right. I'm saying? And he believed in it. And Roscoe Dash was actually his cousin. Yeah. Oh, okay. But he didn't give Roscoe Dash no money. He gave Travis Porter some bread. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Because yeah. he knew. You know what I'm saying? Because Roscoe Dash wasn't nobody until we got on the song. You know what I'm saying? Nobody knew who he was. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So he was like, oh, no, nah, y'all just made homes famous. Yeah. Like, y'all probably could do something for me. Like, right. he was on that type of side. You feel me? Yeah. But he wasn't, like, likable. Like, it wasn't, yeah. like, nothing about him that you would be like, oh. But yeah, a drug dealer, man. Anybody out there know a drug dealer? That's your friend. See what they got going on. See, they got going on. <laughs> See if they're ready to uh, they best. diversify their portfolio. <laughs> yeah. Best what, 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 was your, what was your biggest song like that got more the most plays and all that? Uh, shit. Hey, ladies. Hey, ladies. Yeah. Okay, hey, now, lady. Yeah. Uh, is yeah. that your uh, course? No, it's actually strap. Okay. okay. Really? Mm -hmm. I would say go shorty too. Go shorty, just the numbers wise though. You talking about numbers? Numbers? You talking about numbers, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey ladies. Yeah. Hey ladies, bring it back, make it right. Them, them three, three. Oh top. yeah, those are classics. Yeah, those are hard. Classics. Yeah. Them hard. Top. Them it's tough because the songs they're dropping out, some of them like by next week people don't listen. Yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. Like that, and that's oh, and that's one thing that I like, and that's one thing that I value about my career. It's like this shit didn't come overnight. Like yeah. it may look like it came overnight to yeah. some people, bro. But I really was putting my fucking hard blood, sweat, and tears into this shit. Yeah. And the foundation that I set is so strong that it's not about today. It ain't yeah. about what I'm doing today. It's about what I did ten years ago. Yeah, yeah. Like the shit I did ten years ago is still yeah. bumping. Like it's still running. Like I, I, like I was on the hamster wheel and I hopped off that bitch and the hamster wheel still going. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? I can yeah. hop back in that bitch when I want to. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's what I look at like my career as. Like, bro, I set so many, I set so much shit in play from the beginning. That just like just like uh what your parents would tell you when you a kid, man, work hard today so you can chill tomorrow or some shit like that. Like that's what I did. I went so hard that now I, I can't I'm not saying I can chill, right? But I set a good foundation there to where like I got hella residuals coming in. I I get checks in the mail and like I'm able to pay my bills and like do whatever I need to do without dropping music in five years. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people can't do that, bro. Right. They don't drop a song in two years. It's over. Right, right. Yeah, like it's, it's over for them. Like it's over, like financially, uh, uh, mentally. Like right. it's over. Cause right. you just gotta think about this. Like I'm, I got money <laughs> now. I don't. Right. That's crazy. Right. That's crazy. <laughs> that's <laughs> bro, that's crazy. That's the craziest shit in the world, bro. Right. Cause right. I've been through yeah. that shit. Yeah. I've been through it. When you're there and you don't got it no more, bro. It's gonna fuck with you. So you like so many music. mental ways, like either it's in your relationship with your girl, your family because you can't provide like you're supposed to or like you were. Right. Like, bro, this that's shit gets crazy. That's when you need real people around you. Hey, like, exactly. Like him, that, exactly. You know, you are gonna butt head. Exactly. But, you know, no, not yes man. Yeah. Like, you know, those people that you probably helped out. I'm not, I'm not saying just you. A lot of athletes or a lot of things we get on top of. Get their family money, get people money, yeah. and nobody's ever telling them, "Hey, like, That's don't happening. do this, don't do that," you know, like, right. or even just be a preacher because, like, I'm saying, yeah. still, like I'm saying, still, like saying, these still people because it'll even still be days. Like I'm saying, like, I grew up, you know, being fans and stuff, but yeah. now I'm working and can call any three of them on the phone. Yeah. But like, I still tell them, like, "Yo, bro, thank you." Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't appreciate it. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Because yeah. you know, it have to, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm did, I'm a real fan. Like, I really forward. So just to be able to be a part yeah. of it part and of now it. be able to work on and do it, like. It's crazy to be like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, and I, I like, and I and and people like Maestro, they like I love them because like I've been in positions where I've done more than enough for somebody. Yeah, right. And they want I it's, <laughs> it's, it's it's no respect, it's no it's no bro. Like it's artists to this day 
that slept on my couch and like, damn, you know, slept in my studio and used my studio for free. Right. But the respect not there. They don't respect me enough to say, hey, appreciate it. Even, nah, that's all I would want from a nigga. Be like, hey, bro, I appreciate it. You don't even got to do it publicly, bro. If you run yeah. down on me like, hey, yo, bro, you, I, bro, I respect you, bro. You let me sleep on your couch, da 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 da, da. Like, that, that shows so much, like, respect to me that, like, it's more than money. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, I, one of my one, one of my good <laughs> friends actually, we back friends now. Right. Yeah. But during his come up and his, you know what I'm saying? I wasn't fucking with him. Right. Because I did too much for you. I know, I know what I did. Yeah. You know what I did for you. Right. So why, why, why you can't tell me? And why you can't be like, hey, bro, I appreciate what you did. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want no money. I don't need a song from you. I don't need, I don't need yeah. nothing from nobody. Yeah. I just want people to just understand, like, bro, it's a way to do this shit. Like so, I told y'all, I'm paying homage to every group that ever came true, before me. You see what I'm saying? It's, it's almost like when you're on the way up, the people, and I think uh, J. Cole even said this, the people that you see on the way up, same people you see on the way down. Yeah. So sooner or later, you gotta pass that. Uh, yeah. And you're gonna have to see me. Yeah. 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 And we're gonna be eye to eye. You know what I'm saying? Then, yeah. 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 And then, yeah. Uh, then what we gonna do? Yeah. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. You ain't no more than me, no yeah. stronger than me. We equal. Yeah. So what? Like, it's right. respect. Yeah, it's At respect. the end of the day, there's gotta be respect, bro. That's, that's, that's everything. That's everything in a nutshell. Respect, bro. Because at the end of the day, if you respect somebody from jump, but you never know what's gonna happen. You never know. Right. Bro, I respect you from the jump, bro. You fuck around and become the head coach of da da da, bro. My nephew. Right. Come on, I'm yeah. in there. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? It's all about building relationships. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that, 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 so respectful right. relationships. Yeah, 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 yeah. Not especially nowadays. Yeah, that's what Everything I'm saying. Everything's too close. It's like, oh, you know this person? Like, just like Pancho. Like, you know, yeah. You know, like, oh, yeah. But, no. but that's why I try. That's why I try to respect everybody when I meet them and like keep that same energy the whole time because you never know. Oh, you never fucking know, bro. My one of my managers right now, one of my he used to be my manager. He he stopped managing to just follow his dreams. You know what I'm saying? So right now, bro, this man, let me show you what this man did right quick, man. He took this fucking homeless dude that knew how to paint. Mm. He knew how to paint. That's all he knew how to do. My manager is like one of them people, like he see the vision. Right. Like he right. might not, he might not know how to finish it, but he know how to get to that where yeah. we want to be. Yo, bro, when he found this fucking dude, right? It's he old. was homeless. So, so let's say if Travis Porter was not playing, who's 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 the captain driver? Who's the co-pilot? Who's the the I don't know. I don't the know. Flight attendants. I don't know about Who's the crew? Yeah. Bro, I <laughs> yeah. I, I hold on. Let me get to this. This dude was homeless. Hold on. Let me go back some more. Look, y'all see, he got on clothes. He looks like a regular guy now. Yeah. yeah. He was actually homeless, he bro. He was not homeless. He was fucked up. He looks too chubby to be homeless. That's him. Oh, homeless vet. Homeless vet. Yeah. That? This shit say. It, I met him a few, this was May 30th. I met this him year. a few weeks ago outside of this year. Uh, this year. My, wow. Like, cool. He found out this dude can paint, paint. right? Paint. When I tell you, he put this man's shit, look, hold up. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Wow. So, so this is my, this my manager right here, Charlie. But he managed us and 2 Chain and Young Dog. Well, he used to. So, uh -huh, let me go to an uh, early one. So, he, the, he, what did he do for the homeless guy? He actually took his paintings and um, put them online. Okay. Wow. And, bro, he sold $52,000 in paintings in 24 hours. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. Yes. And the auction just, just gave it to the guy. Yes, all is yours. Open by the painting. Like, nigga. Wow. Yeah, I would buy a painting. Oh, for sure, man. like it, he's a vet. If he's a vet, bro, you should not be homeless. Man. Yeah, for sure. But that's like I feel like that's the genius. That's the genius yeah. in my manager, though. He can exploit the best things in you. You feel right. what I'm saying? Right. Like, all right, cool. 
You even himself, like he was fat as fuck when I met him. Big guy. Big guy. That's Dang. that's that's you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's probably like mid his he was bigger than this. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? He was bigger than that. Wow. But he took that and found his love of, of, of running and training and shit like that. Right. He got a Nike deal. Yeah. Wow. He got a so Nike deal off of it, yeah. bro. Nike commercial, wow. <laughs> all types of shit. You know what I'm saying? So he's like one of them people like, I feel like, bro, he he a good, like, uh, he a good something. Like he's a life coach. Exactly. Yeah. Like he, he bro, he's- bro, He's gone through that grind. So he's been really, really down. Yep. And he's been, bro, he's been, Fat and depressed, right. you know what I'm saying? Can't he's been it. he's been rich, fat and depressed. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, sure. So now he's on some. I want to be happy, happy rich, yeah. and and and, and, and yeah, and progress. You know what I'm saying? I get that. Yeah. So, but you know what I'm saying? Like his mom, like his. This is the guy. Like we we had our second studio in his mom's crib. Like she stayed in. Um, he went to Shambly. Yeah. So look, this, that's crazy. Wow. He had a brain tumor. What's his name? Charlie. He had a brain. He had a brain tumor in twenty thirteen, and he had to fix his diet. That's what got him on the healthy train. You know what I'm saying? Wow. And then, uh, and then he ran around the world. No, he ran around America. He ran from Atlanta to LA. Wow. Him and him and his dude. That's how he got on it. You know what I'm saying? Bro, he's inspirational. Yeah, yeah, like, he's he's really super inspirational. No, but he had it. Like, yeah, brain cancer, you had to clean up the diet. The whole diet. That's yeah. what, that's that's what the way he went. But now, maybe he's got to do, like, anything. But, but yeah, last thing, because I, I got to go. Yeah, but, me too. So, I heard there was some talks about, what, you and Wiz Khalifa? Boxing? Yeah. You crazy. Who you got? Wiz Khalifa kind of tall, though. Man, listen, I ain't going to lie, bro. I got so I got some old. I got some old months on this man. He doing well, kickboxing. Yeah, listen, 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 listen. I ain't making nobody, but oh. I'm gonna film it though. Yeah. <laughs> I just gonna film oh, it. Yeah, I was just like, I mean, I want to see that fight. Real talk. So wait, so yeah, that's that's kickboxing. Though. I already put you in the ring with kickboxing. Man, bro, kickboxing. I have, I have serious. more training to do, bro. He's <laughs> been training for two years. Yeah, we just did yeah, 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 started yeah, on kickboxing. Yeah, yeah, just yeah, wait. Oh, he big boy, he big, he oh, big. He, he, you gotta see if, right now. if you can even get in the ring with him. Yeah, I'm gonna throw some pounds. I mean, on. you're talking, yeah. about, you're talking <laughs> about boxing. I box him. Yeah, we can box okay. Not kickboxing, not in the ring. Boxing, nah. Straight up, pa sparring. Listen, I got, yeah, I don't know. Wait, you got a little face gear? Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. Oh, sure. yeah, 6'4", 185. Yeah, I can see, I can see it. 185 now? 6'4", 185. I don't see it now, 6'4". That's it. Yeah. Six four one eight five. Yeah, we're not six four, bro. Me and Wiz the same height, bro. Don't Wiz not target, bro. Don't Wiz is not target, bro. They say, they say uh, Snoop is six four one ninety two. And Snoop, <laughs> all right, <'cause> Snoop. <laughs> one ninety two. Man, Snoop is smaller than Wiz. Yeah, right. He don't look one ninety two, man. Come on, man. He not. <laughs> He's not 192. He's not 192. Where they get this from? It's his uncle. Um, they throw an uncle weight on him. Yeah, okay. yeah. Come on, man. Nah, that nigga still my side, man. That nigga so, weigh so, 170. So, so, what's good if I weigh like 170? Huh? What's good if I weigh like 170, 180? Something wet. Yeah. Yeah. I get 175. Yeah, so give us give us, a, give us a year. We'll yeah, yeah, back. exactly. Give me, give me to 2020, yeah. uh, February 2020. 2021. Yeah, 2021, yeah. 2022. No, 2021 right now? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow, no, 2022. Like, no, COVID hit it up. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, for yeah. sure. I didn't even get the right 2020, 2020 on no papers. Yeah, that matters, yeah. yeah. that matters, yeah. bro. You gotta yeah. shit, man. I, Man, imagine that, yeah, this is like, bro. Yeah. When you was in school, that's how you knew what year yeah, was. Yeah, 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 you right. know what I'm saying? You're right. You ain't right. Nothing. You probably don't even know the day. Like, yeah, nah, what today is. is. Yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah. bro. That's crazy. Big blur. But yeah, that's. Hey, it's a wrap, man. Listen, I'm glad to have you out here, man. Respect, bro. Thank you, man. Respect. Yes, sir. Respect. Respect. Thank you. My God. Sir, you still gonna get that shaken? Yeah, I got it. Uh, what, what's the next song? Hey, hey listen. I, I was I wanna one thing I wanna do, I wanna definitely do like a recording with you guys like in the studio. Yeah. That would be dope. Yeah. Well uh shit. What what day? We we in there five o'clock. Not every day, but when we go it's five o'clock. So every day. Eight, eight, nine, ten.
five to ten maybe. I'll be doing it. Every day. Yeah. So just hit me up. I, well, I hit you. Well, just hit me up whenever yeah. you want to come. Yeah. I just know we uh. For sure. Yeah. Every, every day. Yes, sir.